late 1990s, we had the arrival of the first generation of symptomatic treatments for Alzheimer's disease. These included a series of medications called the acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. They were breakthrough for us in the sense that they offered the first symptomatic types of treatments that we could use for our patients that had any consistency of effect, albeit the effects had been modest. To the acetylcholinesterase inhibitors, the symptoms that seem to be improved most frequently are a person's ability to have the intention to do things, to be able to be less apathetic, and to be more engaged, better able to participate. It is important in using these medications that clinicians have appropriate expectations. The misinterpretation is that these should be, for example, memory-enhancing drugs. And in fact, they may not be very effective memory-enhancing drugs. It is always difficult to define endpoints of treatment. When a patient responds meaningfully well in the first instance, and as a clinician, in your mind, you've had the view that they've been a good responder. It's often very difficult to take a decision to stop as the disease goes along. We know from the research studies that when you take a group of patients and you stop them, on average, they will decline significantly over a period of six to eight weeks.